In this video I'm going to quickly show you how to use gradients and smart objects. Uh, smart objects are in CS6, CS5 etc. Now, I've got a gradient over here, it's from graphicextras.com, this website here. It's from pack 4 of the gradients on the site. Now, just go to Photoshop and select the gradient tool and select obviously gradient. There's a selection of gradients here and I'm going to apply it as a radial design. Just going to create a layer, new, new layer. Okay, and just going to apply that gradient just to that layer. Just a, just a simple basic blob of a gradient there. Now, you can see the gradient there, so I can move the gradient around, so I don't have to put it there, I can just place it there. I'm now going to go to the layer, smart objects, convert to smart object. And the one thing about smart objects is now that's it. You've actually got that as a defined gradient that can be changed at any point. So you can apply lots of different smart filters and other designs and that underlying gradients will still be there and then can be edited. So all the changes, whatever, can be passed through from that initial basic gradient. So I'm just gonna now apply effect and now these are smart effects, so you can actually edit the, uh, the filter again at any point as well. It's not uh, frozen, so use the shear gradient. So I'm just going to just apply that, just distort the design. That's what I want, just a sort of stretched, very unusual stretched design. Click OK. And now that's still a smart, so I can actually edit the original underlying gradient still. So that design there. So I'm now just going to create another duplicate layer. So I can pull that across these droplets, droplet designs. Duplicate layer. Now of course I could create hundreds and hundreds of these layers. Of course you could probably use an action or um, maybe a script create lots and lots of different layers. I mean, I've just done three as an example. Right, now of course you can rotate the gradient and right, now just going to go to one of them just to show you, you can actually edit the, the shear for one of the gradients. So I'm just going to double click on that and I'm just going to distort it the other way. And it's just going to go there. Now the underlying gradient is still there, still can be edited at any point, so I also can move it, obviously distort it, rotate it and all those sorts of things. Right. Now, if you actually want to do that, and this is the next thing, you can actually keep that design, but you can also double click on that little icon there. I'm just going to quickly go and edit the actual gradient. I'm also gonna, just going to change the image size as well. Don't want that, I just go for a 500 by 500. And, and also I'm just going to change the actual colour of the gradient. So adjustments. I'm just going to go with that. And also I'm going to apply some more blobs to the, uh, the gradient. So you don't have to just keep a what's the name, you can, don't even have to be on the, the actual now close that, just close it there, save, now we'll go back, bang, you've got a completely different design which again is again completely editable so you can actually just quickly go to the shear again or maybe the shear for another one so I'm just going to double click on that and I can edit that and it will keep doing and of course you could do this indefinitely just crane creating different uh, gradient designs with the same basic uh, smart object. 